Today, we take a look at how Felipe Coutinho's career has unfolded, both in terms of which football boots he's worn in his time as a professional football player, but also what actually happened in the career of the latest FC Barcelona star. And we kick the whole ordeal off in Rio de Janeiro, where Coutinho grew up. Now, Coutinho joined Vasco da Gama as a very small kid, initially wearing boots that I have absolutely no clue what are, because the pictures aren't good enough for me to tell. But as he made his mark on the youth teams, Nike were pretty quick to snap him up. And in 2006, the pictures show Coutinho wearing the Nike Mercurial Vapor 3s before jumping in to the Nike Mercurial Vapor 4s in 2007. But it somehow appeared that Coutinho liked his Vapor 3s a little bit more because he wore those in the 2008 Under-16 International Mediterranean Cup in Italy, which was also the first time that he met Neymar and played with him, who ultimately became a very close friend of Coutinho. Now, 2008 was also the year where Coutinho was sold to Inter Milan, but then instantly loaned back again to Vasco da Gama, simply because he wasn't old enough to play in Italy just yet. And then still playing for Vasco in 2009, he jumped into the Nike Mercurial Vapor 5, which he wore when Brazil won the Under-17 South American Championship, of course, with Coutinho in the team. And it was also the board that he wore when he helped Vasco da Gama winning the Brazilian Serie B and gaining promotion to the top flight. Then, in 2010, Coutinho jumped into the Nike Mercurial Superfly 1 as he became a more and more important player for Vasco da Gama, rocking a couple of different colorways of the Superfly 1 for the Brazilian outfit before officially and properly moving to Inter Milan in the summer as he turned 18. And playing for Inter in the first few matches, Coutinho actually wore something as weird as the Nike T90 Laser 3s before he probably figured out that it kind of wasn't for him and switched into the Superfly 2s in September. And he even got his senior Brazilian national team debut wearing the Superfly 2s in October. Then roll on 2011, where Coutinho followed what basically every other Nike sponsored player did and swapped his Superfly 2s for the slightly modified Superfly 3s. And this was actually the boot that he wore when he scored his first goal for Inter in March 2011. But sadly, that debut goal wasn't quite enough for Coutinho to get that much playing time, so he was loaned out to Espanyol in January 2012. Of course, still rocking his trusty Superfly 3s. Then, in August 2012, Inter apparently decided that, hey, <laughs> you know what? This kid is good enough to play for us. So they brought him back after just six months at Espanyol. And coming back to Inter also sparked Coutinho jumping into the Nike Mercurial Vapor 8, kicking off a bit of a going back and forth between the Vapor 8 and the Superfly 3s. And why anyone would ever choose the Superfly 3 over the Vapor 8 is completely, utterly beyond me. But on the other hand, I mean, Coutinho had it pretty well under control back then. So who am I to judge? Then turning a page into 2013, Liverpool had apparently also seen that young Phil Coutinho was pretty flipping awesome at that playing football thing. So they opened their wallets and brought him to Merseyside, which Coutinho celebrated by once again switching his footwear, lacing up in the Nike Mercurial Vapor 9. And it appeared that Coutinho loved that boot, scoring his first goal for the Reds in February and being crowned player of the month for the club in March. Now kids, that's how you show your new club that you're here to do business. In July 2014, Coutinho had the option to go back to wearing the Superfly, but he actually opted to stay with the low cop boots, wearing the Nike Mercurial Vapor 10 instead. And sadly for Coutinho, he didn't get to wear it at the World Cup because he wasn't included in the Brazilian team. But instead, he decided to power through and just play even better, earning him a new contract at Liverpool. It got him a place in the team of the year. He was even nominated for player of the year and then ultimately joined up with the Brazil team for the Copa America in 2015. All of course, doing that wearing different colorways of the Vapor Dance. He did that all the way up until May 2016, where Coutinho then laced up in the Nike Mercurial Superfly 4 Heritage ID boots that, just like the latest Neymar colorway, is inspired by the iconic Mercurial R9 boots from 1998. And beautiful as they may have been, and being Coutinho's only venture into the Superfly 4s, 
Well, he didn't wear them for that long because in July 2016, it was time to jump into the Nike Mercurial Vapor 11s, continuing, by the way, to create headlines. Because wearing these, Coutinho got injured and only returned in January 2017. Then he carved a big flipping hole in his Motion Blur Vapor 11s to relieve a bit of pressure after a minor heel injury. He got a new bumper deal at Liverpool with no release clause, by the way, which I think they're probably pretty happy about. And he also did wear the captain's armband for the Reds. But then Barcelona came in. They decided, hey, we want this guy. They opened their wallets, pulling off one of the biggest transfer fees in world history, potentially rising to a whopping 142 million pounds. But then Coutinho was presented wearing the Fire Vapor 11s, and you can kind of say that he completed the circle, which is kind of beautiful, as he's filling out the void left by his best friend, Neymar Jr., who also happened to be the only player who's more expensive than Coutinho. You can say that the two young kids in this picture, well, they went on to make some pretty big things. So Felipe Coutinho is a pretty loyal Mercurial wearer. 12 years of almost exclusively wearing Mercurial boots, 339 matches, 79 goals, 57 assists. Now that is pretty good. Which of all the boots that Coutinho has worn is actually your favorite? As always, you should let me know in the comment section right down below. And if you want to check out the boot history of Coutinho's best friend Neymar, you can watch that video by clicking right here. You can do yourself a favor and subscribe to our channel by clicking the green bubble up here. You should leave us a like if you had a good time. And with that said, I'm signing off. Cheerio.